Now let us derive an expression for resistivity in terms of relaxation time. Let us consider a cylindrical conductor of cross sectional area A. Let A be the cross sectional area and L be the length of the conductor. Let an electric field of E is applied, that is this side will be positive and this side will be negative, applied across the conductor since we have connected this conductor with a cell of potential difference V. Now we have we have the drift current or the electric current is due to the drift velocity of the electrons. So we have an expression I is equal to number density of the electrons into cross sectional area into charge of the electron and drift velocity. Let's call this as equation number one. We already derived this expression if you have any doubt and you can go back and check the video. I'll put the link in the description. So that I is equal to also the drift velocity expression for drift velocity will be the charge of the electron into electric field times the relaxation time divided by mass of the electron. We also derive this expression also. I'll put the link in the description. If you want to know the how you derive the drift velocity, you can go back and check the video. So I'll put the value of Vd in here in the equation one. Let's call this as equation number two. So n a e into instead of Vd, you can write e e tau divided by m. So I will be n a e square e into tau divided by m. Let's call this as equation number 3. But you know the from Ohm's law we have V equal to I R from Ohm's law so that I is equal to V divided by R. So I equal to V divided by R is equal to N A E square E tau divided by M. But you know the velocity, sorry, voltage V will be electric field into length. Also the resistance of the conductor R equal to rho L divided by A. We know these two values. So substitute these two values in here so that voltage will be E L divided by resistance is rho L by A where rho is the resistivity. You can cancel this L and this L right or write this on the uh, right the right hand side N A E square E tau divided by M that is when you simplify this you will get this a will go up so this will be e a divided by rho is equal to n a e square e tau divided by m cancel this e also this e this a you can cancel also you can cancel this a so that 1 by rho will be n e square tau divided by m implies the resistivity rho will be taking the reciprocal on both sides m by n e square tau. So this is the expression for resistivity in terms of relaxation time. Clearly if the relaxation time increases the resistivity decreases. From this expression you know 1 by rho is equal to reciprocal of resistivity is the conductivity sigma. So sigma will be n e square tau divided by m. Clear.